We all shoot pictures with our smartphone, right? It's easy and fun, but what is not fun is editing your pictures, writing Instagram with a standard set of features. Stop doing that. You ruin your shots beyond repair. Luckily, I found a handful of photo editing apps for your Android camera phone. Good news, most of them are free. Watch this video to discover the best post-processing apps that will turn your regular shots into awesome pics. I'll start with a confession. I don't really feel that comfortable editing my pictures on my smartphone. I find it sort of limiting. Sure, I might do it on the go when the time's pressing and the edits are minimal. But when it comes to thorough professional editing, I prefer to do it on my PC with the help of PhotoWorks. I often go outdoors with my friends we drive out of town and naturally take tons of pictures. I call the best, then use PhotoWorks to edit them all at once. I can do them all one by one as well. The software has convenient HSL sliders for color correction, blurring and sharpening instruments, easy tools for old object removal and smart retouching features. Want to delete the background from a pic? With PhotoWorks, it's a one minute job. Right now you can get this photo editor with a a tremendous discount. Just follow the link in the description and share it with your friends. After all, PhotoWorks is a good deal. But back to the topic. If you need basic editing tools for cropping, fixing color balance and noise reduction, then Photo is all you need. Apart from the essential tools, Photo offers one tap enhancement. This feature fixes the photo sliding and tone. In other words, a neural network analyzes exposure and improves it. There is also a collage feature. It lets you combine a heap of images into one artwork. Just for fun or tell a story. What else? Oh, Photo is equipped with a pro filters. There's little I can say about them since I prefer to use a specific app to stylize my shots. I'll tell you about it later. Photo also offers a pack of stickers and textiles. All in all, the app is really nice. I mean, it was named the best Google Play app of 2017. But just like other photo editing apps, Photo has a paid subscription that's grant you access to more advanced features, a bigger effects and stickers library. It's up to you to decide whether you need it all or not. But if I were you, I'd keep the money in my wallet. Other apps on the list might be more worthy of a purchase. Since we've already started a conversation about filters and effects, let's tackle an app that was initially a social medium. VSCO is sort of an Instagram prototype. Some users might think, wait, what? Social medium? That's right. VSCO started as a platform like Instagram, albeit with a more minimalistic interface. VSCO quickly became user favorite thanks to its filters. The app has tons of them and the number is growing steadily. Just so you know, the internet is full of tutorials on how to stack these filters and all which other to produce stunning results. Let me make one thing clear about the app. Now, its toolkit is not limited on meh filters. There are HSL sliders, the curves, shadows and highlights, noise application, toning, etc. If you prefer to maintain a certain aesthetic in your Instagram posts, this is the perfect app to use. VSCO allows you to catalog and range your images the way you want and even copy one picture settings and apply them to another one. Although I'd advise you not to do it that often, otherwise you lose your photo editing skills. The application is free, but it has a premium version, just like almost any app nowadays. And the free version pales in comparison to the paid one, most of the coolest effects are available just like the HSL tool, that is a bummer for sure, but hey, a good app is worth the money, and VSCO is a good app. Up next is an app that is a highlight of this video. PixArt is a photo and video editor. I don't think I can make it through naming the wall toolkit, so I'll just say it as it is. The app has almost every tool imaginable. Retouching, earth in the background, trendy filters, etc. There is even a color maker and a huge sticker library and when i say huge 
I mean it. There are over 60 million options and you can even design your own. I'm not really a fan of stickers, but people love them and the app has them. So there is that. If you want to draw a pix, you'll get a chance with PixArt. I honestly get a feeling that the developers packed their app with tools just for the sake of doing it. I don't feel comfortable with an app that feature packed, because anytime I see an all-in-one label on an app, I can't help but wonder, all these functions really well developed or did you just add them for the sake of adding them? Have you ever encountered such apps? Share your thoughts in the comments. Let's move on. Coming in next is a must-have app for Face Red Edge Junkies. The name Facetune said it all, right? The app can work wonders with it. You can widen the teeth, get rid of dark eye circles, smooth out the skin, remove the oily glare from T-zone, filters are also present. I think this app is better defined as a face sculptor rather than a regular photo editor. Fun addition. Recently the developers have introduced a new feature that lets you retouch your face in videos as well. So basically say goodbye to your deep insecurities, right? I tend to stay away from from face tuning since I prefer a make natural look, but I know tons of people who use beautifying apps on a regular basis. You just have a look awesome in your pics, right? Want to make your nose smaller or even shrink to distance between your eyebrows? Okay, you can do wherever you want. One thing I liked about face tune is the opportunity to stack various lighting effects. But on the wall, I don't care for this app and I would discard people from using it. Give yourself a break and allow yourself to look like a normal person in your headshots. Off to the next entry. The further we go, the more difficult it is for me to describe the apps, but I'll try my best nonetheless. This time I'm talking about an app that has no paid subscription. It's Snapseed. This is a very easy to use photo editing app with a fairly rich toolkit. Just have a look at what it offers for free. I guess Thanks Google for this awesome photo editor that allows users to process raw files, retouch portraits, fix perspective flaws, make selective color correction, use the HDR scape features and whatnot. Sure, some people might not be happy with Snapseed, some say that edited pics look blurry, some hate their retouching tools, I agree with neither of those things. I've been using the app for a long time, I only stopped when Instagram introduced to use stories and I began to use it to both post and edit. But I still have a soft spot for Snapseed. Be sure to try it. And that's been my list of photo editing apps you might want to try. What are your favorite apps? Mine used to be a built-in editing module that was right on my camera phone. But if I'm not ready to share an unedited picture, I usually post-process it with huge cam and simply squeal at the old film effect. Sure, it looks unremarkable but sometimes it is a perfect look. Please like this video, this way you'll help the recommendation algorithms and more people will get to see it. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel. It's goodbye for now, see you next time.